Welcome to Producing Unscripted with Joe and Biagio. YouTube enhanced version. Clickable table of contents in the description below. This episode. It's episode one. We make unscripted film and television, so why are we taking time to do a podcast? What's in it for you and what's in it for us? Who the heck are we anyway? What have we done and how can that help you? Joke breaks down what toilet paper has to do with your Hollywood pitches, seriously. And I'll let you in on some of the dirt we'll be sharing in upcoming episodes, including how you can team up with us. Music courtesy Dave Pellman Music, DavePellman.com. Hey, thanks for tuning in to the very first episode of Producing Unscripted. Let me introduce ourselves. She's Joke. He's Biagio. And we're married, we make film and TV, and we wanna help you do the same, uh, hopefully by working with us. That's right. Look, here's the thing. Uh, I'm gonna say this right off the bat, and this will probably come as no surprise. We are not professional podcasters, are we, Joe? Nope, not even trying to be. No, uh, you know, we're not teachers, we're not authors hawking a break in the Hollywood book. We're film and TV producers. That's our job. Specifically right now, we specialize in documentaries, doc TV series, and reality TV, and we get paid to make unscripted entertainment for a living. That's our job. So it really only makes sense for us to take time away from our career to do this podcast if we make this a win-win situation. You have to get something out of it, and we have to get something out of it. So what's in it for you? Well, we're gonna share real advice that's gonna help you get your projects off the ground. This advice will probably help you out no matter what you're working on. If you're, you wanna make an indie film, web series, whatever, but it will be specifically geared towards working in unscripted television, whether that's documentary series like our show Cage on MTV, or big reality TV shows like Beauty and the Geek, or our show Scream Queens on VH1. You know, that's what we're good at. That's what we can help you with. And by the way, no faster way to break into the entertainment industry and get paid to tell stories than working in unscripted television. That's kind of what's in it for you, so what's in it for us? We want you to bring your unscripted TV ideas to us. We want to be the production company you team up with. In fact, we love to get you your first real producing credit in Hollywood. We've done this um, for lots of other people. And um, not one of those meaningless vanity credits. Um, we don't quite believe in those, more on that later. Um, but an actual real credit that you earn. You know, you earn by working on an idea that you bring to us, we partner up. And that's kind of where this podcast is different. Um, we provide a way for you to pitch your unscripted TV ideas to us. And instead of getting inundated with ideas that are not right or not well formed, we're hoping that by listening to this podcast, um, your pitches will just keep getting better and better and better and there'll be things that we can actually work on together. We've sold three TV projects with people just like you. Three TV projects with people just like you. I just want to hit that home. Like people who did not have credits have teamed up with us and we've sold TV shows together. There's not a whole lot of people trying what we're doing and honestly our agents and our lawyers think we're a little nuts. Well, you know, it's like we're, we're handing out some free advice and honestly to us, um, you know, we, when we were coming up, we wish someone was telling some of these things to us. Um, but, you know, we learned a lot of these lessons the, the hard way and we're more than happy to share them with you. And we hope in return that um, we're at least one of the places you stop at to pitch your ideas. And if there's something we spark to and that we can be passionate about, um, I think that we can prove to you that we're great partners on these shows. And we'll be talking about how you can pitch to us over the course, not only of this episode of this podcast, but this whole series. We're gonna be trying to make it easy for you to team up with us, producing unscripted entertainment, whether that's documentary or reality TV. The fact is there's a lot of opportunity out there if you know how to tap into it. Well, the truth of the matter is that if you're trying to break into the business, that is probably where most of the uh, work is, is the jobs are where the money's actually at. There, there's a lot of work, and and also because it moves much faster than than the movie business, it's uh, it's a great place to get experience quickly. It, it really is, and when you think about it, how many television networks are there that are programming unscripted TV? How many hundreds of cable networks are out there doing programming? Um, how many movies get made every year? How many scripted TV shows get made? Uh, listen, we, we love, like I said, we love movies. We love scripted TV. The fact of the matter is, every independent filmmaker needs a day job. <laughs> Let us be your day job. Let us be your day job. You know what, I'll tell you what. 
getting paid to make unscripted television and and really documentaries for a living, it's it's amazing. Um, you know, we're doing a lot of work right now with MTV. We have a a hardcore documentary that we got to go out and shoot and edit that was funded by MTV. It is not a reality show. It is totally verite. By the time you're hearing this, uh, we'll probably be able to say what the show is. But it was basically a, a one hour feature length doc that we got to make. Had we tried to do that independently, it would have taken us 10 times as long to raise the funds than it did to actually make the documentary. So there is a lot of great opportunity out there. And, and part of what this podcast is going to be geared towards is letting you know where that opportunity is and how to take advantage of it. Um, now, if you can't wait, if you're just dying to get started right now, you can already go ahead on over to jokinbiagio.com forward slash newsletter. So jokinbiagio.com forward slash newsletter and sign up. Uh, that's the first step to getting to pitch us a show. Wait a minute. Who are you guys again? <laughs> Now, for those of you who don't know us, we've had a pretty unusual career path, right, honey? Yes, we've worked in lots of different areas in Hollywood. Uh, Joke started out in the features world, working for a big-time producer, Gail Ann Hurd. Uh, she's best known for a lot of stuff. Terminator, Armageddon, The Abyss, and now she's producing The Walking Dead on AMC. And some of you may not know that Biagio used to be an actor on Nickelodeon's Keenan and Kel. Yes, there was a time when I was huge with the five-year-olds. Uh, for those the right age to remember, I played Keenan's geeky next-door neighbor, which was clearly typecasting. Uh, I did look pretty goofy on that show. But you did it so well. Well, it comes natural. Uh, I, and no one, I don't think anyone would ever believe that that nerdy guy married a woman as beautiful as you, but uh, I, I proudly claim that honor. Um, so, Joke was starting out in the movie business. I was acting, but our personal sampling of Hollywood jobs did not stop there. No, over the years, the two of us have done just about any job you can on a film or TV set, mostly because um, we didn't have any money to hire anybody. <laughs> yes, that, that will get you good at a lot of different positions really quickly. Yes, I've held my fair share of boom poles and bounce cards and um, cameras and all kinds of fun stuff. Catering... Catering, lots of 99 cent store crafty runs. Um, highly recommend those for a low budget shows. Get to know your local 99 cent store. You can feed a crew efficiently and cheaply. Yes, they may not enjoy it as much. We have moved up to the Costco runs now, so if you can afford your Costco membership. <laughs> when people, when you reach our level of Hollywood success, you can afford to shop at Costco. Yes, hey man, you know, good deals, lots of food. Anyway, all of those little jobs prepared us for what we're doing now. Um, and today we have a full-fledged third-party approved production company. Joke Productions. Thank you. And these days we're best known for our TV shows on networks like MTV, VH1, Biography, a and &E, CW, NBC, just to name a few. I would say just about every network out there. By and large, if you've heard of the network, we've done a series or a TV pilot with them. Um, we also just recently did a feature length doc, Dying to Do Letterman, which you might have caught in a few theaters in New York and Los Angeles. It's now distributed by Oscilloscope. Go and check it out on iTunes. On iTunes, we made New and new Noteworthy the same day as Dark Knight and Brave, so that was really cool. Right, and if you're flying American Airlines in the month of June, <laughs> um, you might get to see it there too. Although, I'm not sure if it's just for first class passengers. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We just know American Airlines is, is programming the movie. Yes, we don't know that. for Memes. Let us know if you're flying American and if you catch the movie. We'd, we'd love to hear about yes, it. Yes, take a picture and tweet it to us. My mom says TV melts your brain. I would say if I could give one piece of advice. One piece of advice. Okay, people, here it comes. Jokes, piece of advice. Of the podcast. Of, of the, the podcast. Week. Of, the, of the week. Of the, of the episode. Of the episode. Is if you are selling a pitch, um, and I'm hoping it's an unscripted pitch to us, but any kind of pitch... If you're out there presenting a pitch. I want you to understand that no matter how passionate you are about the story, the character, whatever, the concept, that at the end of the day, you are selling a product to a customer. Eventually, if we team up, we'll be selling it to a network and they're the customer. They're the ones purchasing a product, okay? Know your marketplace, know who the customer is. Because here's the thing. If you were to come up with this brand new, you know, kind of toilet paper and you wanted to bring it to the customers and you wanted to sell it in stores 
one of the things you would do is like you would buy every kind of toilet paper and you would try them out. All of them, quilted, northern. Double. We're talking double, triple, triple layered, all of extra it. soft for with, the tush. With aloe, without aloe, the whole thing. You would try them and then you would realize why your toilet paper was different. And in your pitch, you would say, this is why our toilet paper will be successful. And this is why it's unique and special and why you should buy our product. So when you come and pitch a TV show, you should have watched some television. That's all I'm saying, people. I am giving you permission. I am saying that for your homework, watch some television. Watch, try to watch one episode of every show in the genre that you're pitching. So if you're coming in with a docu-series, please have watched an episode of Duck Dynasty. Please, if you think you have a Discovery show, please have watched at least one episode of every show on Discovery. You know, really do know the customer that you're trying to sell to and really do understand your product and where it will fit in the marketplace. Yeah, and look, we're gonna talk about this a lot more in upcoming episodes, but the fact of the matter is, if you come to us and you say, I have this great show for MTV, it's a kid's show where we travel the world and we learn about things, we're gonna say you clearly have never watched MTV, at least not in the last 20 years. In television, it really is every network, it has a target audience that they're trying to hit and you'll see based on their shows, um, you know, who they're going after. You're not gonna see a wedding show on the Discovery Channel. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not their audience. So, you know, so just, just watch TV. I, I give you permission. Next time, you know, your husband, wife, mother, father, someone gives you crap about watching television, um, just tell them you're doing homework. In our upcoming episodes, we're gonna be talking about a lot of specifics. We're gonna be talking about ways to make yourself valuable to a pitch. We're gonna be talking about what the networks are actually buying and how you can figure it out. You don't have to have an extremely powerful Hollywood agent to know what kind of shows a network is looking for. We're also gonna teach you five little words that will make it very easy for you to look at a television show and know exactly the kind of categories these shows fall into so that when you come up with an idea, you know immediately, okay, this is this kind of show, therefore I can sell it to these kinds of places. Five magic words that once you know, you will sound like you know what you're talking about. And if you actually understand how to use the five words, you will know what you're talking about. And then we'll also talk about what makes a good show. How do you know maybe you have something? Is it an interesting character in an interesting world? What are the things to look for? You know, is this an idea worth my time? Is this a character worth investing time in? What's in it for you? Uh, if you actually do team up with us and we sell a show together, what are you realistically gonna get out of it? I can tell you right now, not a million dollars. But there is a you lot that can be- You just lost half our audience. We just lost half the audience, they just took off. They're like, I can't make a million dollars off of my one idea, forget it, I'm out of here. But the point is that we will tell you, okay, realistically, here's what you can get out of this partnership. And it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. There's a lot that working on a television show can do for you, including opening up avenues to feature film, TV commercials, scripted television, because guess what? We all know each other, we all work together. You establish yourself in one area of the business, it's a lot easier to establish yourself in others. That and lots more coming up in future episodes. I just wanna say thank you so much for tuning in. If you did enjoy the episode, please go ahead and subscribe on iTunes and leave us a good comment. It would mean the world to us. Um, you have and no idea how much it would mean to be out here. Especially to me. <laughs> and be sure to visit us over at our blog, jokeandbiagio.com. Thank you all, right. all, have a good night. Producing Unscripted with Joe and Biagio.